This is the Nintendo Switch Messenger Bag. I've had it for a long time now and I thought I should do a review on it. This bag is great if you're going on holiday. You can just put everything in it including the dock, a few games and everything. Let's talk about how it looks. Well, on the front it has this really nice material with a Nintendo Switch symbol in the front with the same material as the bottom part. On the back, it looks just the same and basically just plain black. It's got this nice compartment in the back where you can fit a few Switch games or papers or anything like that if you carry that around. It comes with this shoulder strap, which I'm going to take off just for the sake of the video. It's got this really comfortable handle made of rubber, which is really good for carrying it around. As soon as you open up, you can see that it has this really nice plasticky material with the Nintendo Switch logo as a pattern across it. You also got this section here, which is meant for the Nintendo Switch. It's shut by Velcro, and inside it comes with a free case, which looks like this. The Switch can easily fit inside this, and the Switch can easily fit inside this, and it's perfect for if you want to just keep the Switch on its own separately to the bag. If you just close that up and put it in, it's tucked away nice and neat inside there. As I said earlier, on the back you could fit inside a few Switch games, so if we just turn that over, we can put the Switch games inside. I would say four is a good amount to fit inside this pocket, but if you do want to keep more, you could put it in the front, but it'd be a really tight squeeze. Now, if you also want to take everything with you, you can also take the dock. The dock can easily fit by just sliding it in this space here. You can also fit the, you can also fit a second pair of controllers, like the extra Joy-Cons or a Pro Controller. They fit in this gap over here with this little strap here, which you can just put around the middle. It's quite hard to put in, in my opinion, but once it's in, it's nice and snug. If you want, you can also put the Joy-Con straps inside if you like taking those with you. I only need two because I've only got two Joy-Cons inside the case, so I'll just slide those in next to the Pro Controller. Now, obviously, you'll need the power brick and the HDMI cable to connect to a TV. So all you've got to do is slide the HDMI into this space here, as well as with the power brick. The only problem with this is it's really, really tight in my opinion to fit. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but it's really hard to get inside. Sometimes what I do is I put the power brick here, and then I put the HDMI cable underneath the dock and just squish it inside there. And now if I close this up, you'll see I've got everything inside this bag here. My opinion, this is a really, really good bag. However, the tight fit isn't really the best. There is one thing that I really like about it. On the inside, these separators here can be taken out and removed. They're only attached by Velcro, so you can just take them out and put them aside. Same with this one. And then you've got a lot more space to organise it however you want. This way you could probably fit more things inside, but it's less organised and you'll probably just be chucking stuff inside. If, you do, if you're not taking the dock with you, what you can do instead of putting your Switch games in the back, is you can take them and put them where the dock would normally go. There you could probably say I could probably fit around 6 games there and you could put another 4 in the back, making that around 10 games. Or, you can spend like £5 to get these tiny little things which can carry up to 16 games just in cartridges so that you don't have to take the whole big plastic box. As you can see I've got everything in the case, but it is sticking out a bit here for example where the power brick is and also the dock, it's kind of sticking out the top a bit when you close it and it's really really tight. I'd like it if there's just a little bit more space or if they designed it better. This bag costs £25 for the whole bag including the case that comes inside it which you can obviously take separately to the bag and it's just it's a great bag. Especially if you're taking it out on the go, as I said earlier. It's really easy to take, and it really isn't that heavy to carry everything when it's like this. There are other cases out there if you do not like this big style or this bag, or you could also get the Switch Travel Deluxe case, which is more compact than this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss my other videos.